Hey, Fatel, something's wrong with the TV. No, it isn't. It's just, uh, yeah, believe it or not, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Baltimore, Maryland for the premiere of the newest wrestling federation that just opened up. It is Winter Circle Wrestling. And the three men, you know, you yeah, the three men who invested in this, you should know. And one of them is coming up here right now. Holy cow, Scott Tonic. Are you serious? Yeah, Taz. This is Scott Tonic. We haven't seen him around for a while, but now here he is. As he was found up, he won the investors along with Joe Kenny and uh, Corey Crichton. I guess they, according to what he was telling me, it's time for an alternative. He's like, uh, the wrestling federations are getting a little oversaturated at entertainment. He did, even though he did offer to help out Chris Bat last night on their episode of uh, Big Time Wrestling, but uh, Scott Tonic thought it'd be better just to do this. And there he is, folks, Scott Tonic, and we're out here in, uh, looks like the Baltimore Stadium here right now, and how nice. What do you think of it, Taz? Oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful out here. Oh, my gosh, man. I was at the aquarium this afternoon, and it's a beautiful sight. Hey, everybody, how you doing today? You thought you'd never see me again, did you? But you know what, guess what? I have taken an investment to open up a new federation along with a couple of my good trusted compadres that I've known for the last few years. One, my son-in-law, Corey Clayton, and, of course, our good friend, Joe Kenny. And everybody knows about Joe Kenny. Who else knows about running a good federation better than Joe Kenny? I'll tell you what, right now, ever since Joe Kenny let go of the reins of MSW, it has not been the same. And I'll tell you how much right now. So we're going to take some of that magic from Kenny and we're going to see if we can get it uh, rubbed in here properly. It would be great. Now, forget us, fans. We're still in here trying to sign people. And uh, basically, once we get a, a pretty good roster, we can figure out what's going on. We'll start having tournaments for titles. But I'm going to hope this goes by really good. If you met on the last show that was unfortunately not televised, you know that Lance Storm is our GM. And I couldn't pick out a better guy for it. He was all about the wrestling. But tonight's main event is going to be the contingent. Pete Dunn, Boy Sanders, and Nick Aldis take on Davey Boy Smith Jr. and our newest signees, Rush, Ross and Marshall Von Erich. Should be good. I'll tell you that much right now. I can't wait. And we got other action on hand there. We got a few other surprises that you'll be surprised about. You know? So uh, sit back, open up a cold one, and enjoy. Or to call one for the refreshment stand. And like I said, be patient with us. You will be rewarded. Re Loyalty brings its rewards. No doubt about it. You know? We're not over here trying to overtake uh, SWW or MSW. We're just trying to be an alternative. That's the thing about it. I mean, we can all use an alternative. Let's put it that way. And, uh, you know? Let's. Hey, I think I got feeling it's going to be a pretty damn good ride. As we're not going to have any oversized Disney characters, no resistors, no mega stars, basically like that. We want hard workers. We want ones that are not going to be snowflakes and everything else, basically. Wow, you heard right there, Taz. No snowflakes allowed. No Disney characters allowed. No, uh... Mega stars that were shoved down your throat, be even though they were so pitiful, not allowed. That's right. That's that, that is right, Fatal. That's the reason why they got my man here, the FTW World Champion, Ricky Starks. Even though he's not wrestling here tonight, but you know what? Give, give or take, I think he'll be. I'm gonna make sure he gets be put on the next show. No doubt about it. Oh, well, oh man, we got cousins wrestling here tonight against. Oh my. Gosh. Is this the Contra unit for, uh... Yeah, it looks like it is, uh, Fatal. Look at that. Jacob Fatu. El Hio del Serpentor? 
is now hanging around with these scumbags? Are you kidding me? And they're going against real life cousins Jericho Windham and Bo Dallas. This is going to be interesting, folks. I like to see how if family blood is stronger than uh, mercenary blood. You you got that right. Oh my gosh. You know what? Wyndham and Dallas is going to have their hands. Oh, wait a minute. I've just been told he doesn't want to be called Bo Dallas anymore. He would rather be called Taylor Rotunda. Oh, it's just like his daddy. Yeah. His daddy, IRS, uh, the legendary Mi Captain Mike Rotunda, man. I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, should be a good one. Also, he's the brother of, the, of Bray Wyatt. Who just got recently re released a uh, Wyndham Rotunda, which is interesting. Use it. They use uh, two uh, last names for that to salute both uh, the, his uh, both his dad and his uncle. I'll tell you that much. Who knows? I wonder if he's ever going to show up here and maybe uh, what the heck is it? Uh, Winter Circle here. I would love to see it, man. I'll tell you that much. No doubt about it. Yeah, what a good way to start the program here. So we take a look at some of the other new people that have been uh, signed. And I'll tell you what, I think I heard that Tonic, Crichton, and Kenny are still looking for talent. I think they were recently over at New Japan Strong to see if they can get any guys to come along with them on non-exclusive contracts. Of course, a non-exclusive contract means that you can wrestle anywhere. And I heard a lot of people in MSW's got that now since uh, Tracy Torment has skimmed a lot of people's paychecks over there before getting kicked out. And oh boy, I cannot believe I re I cannot believe I was friends with that girl at one time, Tracy Torment. What a shame. Yeah, such a disappointment. Tracy was a nice person as I remember her growing up being uh, as the number one fan. But now she's uh, really turned a page, and not a good one. And there it is, folks, Jericho Wyndham. This, uh, from what I heard in the bloodline, this is the son of Kendall Wyndham. So that means Barry Wyndham's his uncle, and so is Mike Rotunda. And Blackjack Morgan, was his grandfather? Just to let you know. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, come on. I thought we got rid of the light up mechanism here. Uh, yeah, so I, I wouldn't worry about it. It's a start it's a startup arena right now. I mean basically that's what it is, is a it's a kickstart project. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I, I'm going to put my money on it that this is going to be a kick up, kickstart project if people won't mind, especially if you're fans of old school wrestling. We're going to slash the entertainment by far. We're going to make sure to give you great, hard-hitting, competitive matches each time we're on the air. And look at Jericho Wyndham. That looks like a game face if I had never seen one right there. Of course, he's, uh, he's stumbling from his NWA title loss he had to... Uh, Steve Austin, no doubt about it. That you know that's pretty hard on Jericho. And here he is, folks. Bo Dallas, or else Taylor Rotunda. Now, let's call it what it is. And the fans are trying to warm up to him, but they seem like they can't right now. They're wondering if he's just still uh, the same old goofy games as Bo Dallas, or is he going to be a serious, like, he's going to uh, take on a serious wrestling philosophy just like his daddy Mike. Oh, I remember Captain Mike Rotunda for the days. He was a uh, real uh, butt kicker. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That guy is a tag team specialist, if anything. I'll tell you what, former NWA champion with uh, Steve Williams, former uh, 
tag team champion with Barry Windham, former uh, tag team champion with Ted DiBiase. I'll tell you that much right now. And here we go, folks. Ah, here comes Joseph Samael, the leader of the Contra unit. And coming out of the ring, there they are. Jacob Fatu on your left. Serpentor on your right. And look at Serpentor. He's wearing memories. He's got that back-to-back -back World Cup ch champion T-shirt on. From what everybody knows, he was the only one. He was the only, only one and two-time World Cup champion. We haven't seen one of those in a couple of years because of all this uh, stuff going on in the world today. Yeah, it's been very hard to get people over here because of uh, travel restrictions and everything. But uh, it's great to see these. Uh, it's great to see action here in Baltimore. But here they are, man. I'll tell you what. I would not be surprised these guys weigh at least 280 pounds, maybe. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what. Wyndham and Rotunda's got some real giants to face off in that ring against tonight. No doubt about it. If they can score an upset win over the Contra unit, that will be friggin' impressive. But I won't be surprised. Look at those wrestling jeans they got. So true, Taz. Let's get this going, shall we? So, Fatal, what brings you over here to Winner's Circle instead of Musty Wrestling? I thought maybe you might have went back with him. I hate to say that I had no interest anymore. After I got Maya bad uh, away from everybody over there, I mean, uh, she was kidnapped by Tracy Tormbat. That's all I know right now. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. She, uh, that was it. I wanted to get away. And I'm not, it looks like I'm not the only one. Yeah. I heard, I heard there was a lot of people that wanted their releases from uh, Musty Wrestling. Chris Bad, I feel sorry for him. And not even 24 hours he's been in the job. He's already getting criticism. Yeah, what the hell is that all about? You didn't let the guy even do anything correct. Yeah, you screwed my friend out of a title shot, blah, 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 and all that stuff. You know what? To that person that said that, Show up for the World Title Opportunity. You are, you were, you were right there signing the dial line Sunday night. I hate to say it. No disrespect. If, if, if believe me, if, uh, if he, if he was in a situation, you know what? I'll be glad to stick up for him, but you know what? Let's put it that way. And everybody, hurry up. That count is coming up quickly, and they do and fought too. I'll, I'll tell you, he's been splattering, he's been splattering Terry Rotunda like a pancake, but, oh, man, and uh, he tried. Oh, man, bowled him over. He bowled over Rotunda. Oh, Rotunda comes out over the clothesline. Beautifully done. Oh, man, kicks him, but... No, no budge. Fatu has a very sturdy body, which he can, uh, which he's not going to get knocked down real easily. Let's put it that way. Now he takes in, which I consider one of the most dangerous wrestlers. I haven't seen him since in about a year and a half, but Serpentor's in there right now. I remember his daddy. I remember, I remember old Serpentor used to take over Marcus Ramstein in that famous tag team known as the Power Brothers. That was a, that was a butt kicking tag team. I'll tell you that much right now. No doubt about it. Oh, but Rotunda showing his own against uh, Serpentor and oh, a little neck breaker. Beautifully done. I'll tell you that much right now, oh my gosh. Yeah, I heard even, uh, what the heck was it, uh, I heard even, uh, 
the investors were even talking to negotiate with people from Japan and Mexico to come over here. So they're really making it sounds like they got some big plans and oh serpent spiral. Oh gosh. That could be it, but he wants to put more punishment on the poor kid. And right now, Sir oh, Serpento has, has to say, I would have run at him right away. You don't get a young hungry kid like Wyndham a chance to recover. No, do no, he did not, I agree. And right now, Serpento just looking at his work right now in the ring as he's uh, beating down the younger Wyndham. And, oh, there's that spike. I thought they banned that move. I know, I was watching the episode of MSW Big Time Wrestling. A lot of nonsense being spoken. No doubt about it. I guess it got one guy over there by, uh, who's named after Fish, and he was talking about, uh, that some was the ne that certain net breakers banned. I don't remember that. And oh man, there's some that lucha skill by Serpento. So he he doesn't have to break the rules if he doesn't want to. You see that? And right now, Wyndham on the apron. Oh no, what's he gonna do now? Oh oh jeez. Oh gosh, power bomb. I think Wyndham's week is just about ready to get worse after uh, losing that NWA title last Friday. Or uh, Sunday, I should say, this past Sunday, so, uh, you know. But Wyndham's trying to fight back here. He's trying to show that uh, he's got something in the tank, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed he does. And right there, you see Serpento with that great counter wrestling and uh, kick it at the knees. That's a, that's a disadvantage of being very tall, I guess you could say, because right now, uh, yeah, his knees are easy to target. And Wyndham moves out of the way, and oh, clothesline. Could that be it? Go for the pin, kid. Uh, but Joe, he lets Joseph Samael get up on the apron. Good God almighty. But Serpento's still down, and look at this again. Good God almighty, he gets caught. And Serpento with a nasty neck breaker. Got five big matches for you tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. And right now, oh, what's going on here? Oh, flips him over and a kick to the neck. Good God Almighty. And Jericho lets Bo Dallas kick. Kim, uh, I should say whoever, what, Winda, Terry Rotunda, or Bo Rotunda, whatever he calls himself. Oh man, misses that neck breaker. And uh, looks like Bo has to move his way out. This is right now, but right, oh no. Gets caught by the Samoan Wolf and oh, Samoan drop. Oh geez. He is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt about it. Let's call it like it is. Oh man, and look at that two just pounding away on uh, Bo and oh. Oh man, contra rampage. Yeah, it was, no doubt about it. And what is, uh, oh, here we go again, oh, Spike. That's gotta be it. Oh, but Wyndham comes up there and breaks it off. And Bo kicking right at the legs. There you go. Oh, catches him with a nice forearm. Wow. Beautifully done. I'll tell you that much right now. Indeed it is. Bo is showing something there. He's showing that he still has the skill. No doubt about it. 
Bo Rotunda shows he still has the skill, ladies and gentlemen. And Bo taking him down. Beautiful. Keep on him, kid. That's how we're going to win this match. Oh, no. He gets caught. Oh, gosh. Flat line. And that was a beautiful move there by Bowie. Uh, Mirza and Bowman, he got out there before Sepulchre can continue his attack. Over the top he goes. And right there he just got, yeah. Unfortunately, rolls him back in. You know, uh, Serpentro must have ran into the, but he he let, there is a mistake by Bo Dallas. He let uh, Jacob Fox who get back in there. You know, I won't let that monster back in there. I'll tell you that much. Oh! Gosh, Chase, he just got splatted. And uh, Jericho Linden breaks it up, and Women now uh, doing a good job of uh, staying on his feet, trying to uh, stop him. Oh, but he gets clocked. He gets clocked. Yes, he does. And, oh, I think his knee just shrunk down by a couple years in life after that knee stomp. No doubt about it, Fatal. No doubt about it. But, Bo, I'll tell you what, he's doing good right now. Oh, oh he was. Oh man, Fatu keeps blocking him. Oh, fight with Thunder Driver. Holy cow. AK to sit out Tombstone Power Driver. And now Bo gets out of it. Wow. I tell you, Wyndham and Rotunda are putting up a better fight than I thought they did. I'll tell you who's the wild card on team is Bo Dot was Bo Rotunda. BD Rotunda. I think I'm still calling him BD. Because I'm trying to get the Bo Dallas on my head here and uh try and give respect to his dad because I know he's been using his dad's name as a late he's been using his name as a late dad he was born with. And right now what's Bo gonna do here? Bo set it up, tags in. Jericho Linda, man. Wow. Who knows, this may set up uh, a couple of combatants in that tag team title tournament. Oh, man, he's going to go for the Impaler, and Jacob thought to pull up a defense. Oh, no, here he go. He's going to get it now. Oh, man, he just got clocked. Right there, that could be it. That was a good way to break out the pin. Get rid of the referee. I think it's a little illegal, but I'll deal with it. Oh, I'm pretty sure Bo had good intentions, and uh, but uh, referee just got in the damn way. I seem to notice a lot of that in these federations. And Jacob Fatu takes him over the head, but. And a, and a rough hip toss. Oh no, and Fatu now going to work on Jericho Wyndham. But Jericho coming back. Oh man, Impaler. He got him. But, oh man, are you kidding me? Serpento gets in there and breaks it off. What a way to kick off the first broadcast of Winter Circle Wrestling from Baltimore, Maryland. Oh man, clothesline against clothesline. And I think Fatu's won out clearly. He just uh, floored Wyndham. And 
And now what's going on here, folks? And, oh no. Oh, 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 good God. Oh, man, that was nasty. Moonsault, Simone drop, Moonsault, splash combo. Where the hell did that happen? Unbelievable. But they're still going. Oh man, and, uh, and Jericho Lindham. And now he's taking Bo. Bo wants to tag. He wants to prove that he is uh, very useful here in the Federation. Oh man, beautiful uh, hip toss slam. No, he couldn't get him. Wow. You know what, you know, you know what Patel, what this kind of reminds me of? What does it kind of remind you of, Taz? Kind of reminds me of the good old tag team days that used to be on TBS Saturday nights at 6.05. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm going to tell you that much right now. You had the Rock and Rolls and the Midnight and You know what? Yeah, we just heard some news this week. Uh, beautiful Bobby. My condolences. Yeah, definitely beautiful Bobby, one of the best tag team wrestlers in the world. You know what, definitely. The him is all about the wrestler. And oh man, he's pulling right back on him, man. Luckily, Bo knew where to had to go with the ropes. And Serpentor just putting a uh, kick stomp and a jump away, and... Oh, are you kidding me? He tried using the ropes. Are you freaking kidding me? I'll tell you what. Bow has really impressed me. Man, there's a neck breaker. The one that that, th that first guy said that was uh, banned and, uh, as I was really listening to on Big Time Wrestling last night. But I'm not going to talk about it because that'll take away from what could be the prestige of WCW. And right now we got the two heavy hitters there, Jericho and Fatu. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's Serpento is also a heavy hitter, but these two have been going like cats and dogs. No doubt about it. And oh, he gets caught in. Oh, rock bottom. Oh, he's from Texas, so they call it Red Rock Bottom. Yeah, I think that might be from Arkansas. I don't know, I, I know it's from Wanda City. I know it's from one of those great states. No, you're right. Red Rock, Texas. Yeah. I'm pretty sure of it. Fans, if you listen to this and uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know on the forum. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, man. One by check. Wow. From a 290 pound monster like that. That's impressive. I'll tell you that much. Oh, he gets caught. Oh, man. Oh, the rips he goes. Wow. You know, this is what happens, you have no script in the wrestling federations. You get great matches like this. Oh, what is he going to do now? Oh, no, no. Oh, man, ouch. I think Lindham's dead. I think Lindham is dead. He just got... He, oh, man. Oh, man, and he's just butchered poor Jericho. Holy cow. Seven. Eight. 
Got a feeling this one might be one on a count out if it is. No, I think it's going to go to a draw. Are you kidding? Oh, wait a minute. No. Are you kidding me? Jer wow, Bo. Even though it's a count out win, but Bo Rotunda gets a win in his return to the wrestling ring. Wow. You know who's happy? Barry and Mike. Barry, Mike, and Kendall, I should say. That was a big win, I'll tell you that much right now. It was by count out, but it still counts as a win, and uh, you know? Family blood did uh, prevail this time, but I'm pretty sure the Contra unit's gonna be looking for blood themselves, and it might be theirs. Oh, no doubt about it. No, no doubt about it. I'll tell you that much right now. Stay tuned, folks. The night is still young. Oh, my God. Look who's back off, Patel. Yeah, I see. Star Angel, who gave birth uh, to a baby boy last, to a baby boy a couple months ago. Is back over here. It's back in, but she decided to pick Winter Circle. What the heck? Yeah. She's going against Sarah Logan tonight. So this is gonna be the first time we've seen Star Angel in la in the in the uh, in several months. Question is, is she gonna have any ring rust? That's gonna be the question. I don't know. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting what she still has in that in that rustling book of hers. Of course, we all know she's the uh, sister of Adam Strange and uh, Mandy Rose. Also, she is the uh, daughter of uh, Chaz Foreman and Tracy Torment. And here comes Sarah Logan, looking like she wants to get. She's going to get. Try to give Star Angel all she can handle. And there she is, folks, Star Angel, along with her childhood, along with her good friend, Asia Call. I guess it's always nice to have backup when you go against uh, two, uh, me members of the group known as the Riot Squad. I'll tell you what, right now, I mean, you got, uh, yeah, basically you have uh, Logan bringing uh, Ruby Riot or Ruby Soho now, as uh, she's being called. And of course you got uh, Star Angel calling help from her friend, her good friend, Asia Call. Most definitely for sure, you damn skippy. Go, folks. 
Sarah Logan going to look on Star Angel. Right now, Star Angel is uh, a little bit worn down, right? It looks like a, a little bit uh, trying to get back in the swing of things. But Star Angel right there showing uh, some fight here. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, man. Star Angel put up a hell of a fight here so far. Star Angel right now uh, getting in trouble there with that arm breaker DDT done by Sarah Logan aka Crazy Mary Dobson she used to be known on the uh, independent front and right, and right now look at that Patel uh, Looks like Star Angel has still got the aggression. Oh, I bet you. You know what? When you're away from the ring for several months, you uh, you are waiting to get back in there. Yeah, we're gonna try to bring ourselves up a little bit. Uh, we'll try to bring you at least one. We'll bring you one show a week, definitely, until we can get this whole engine going. Beautiful, uh, kind of like spine buster there by, uh, I'll tell you what, by, uh, Star Angel. Star Angel's looking pretty dang good for being somebody away from the ring for several months. And, oh, ooh, high risk and did not pay off. She is in trouble, Taz. No doubt about it. And we'll see if she rebounds well like Ricky Starks did on the first official card when he beat Davy Boy Smith Jr. Yeah, definitely. You know what, fans? If you got a copy I take, let us know so you can actually put it on here to broadcast. No doubt about it. Oh, rocker dropper. Rocker dropper stopper, as they call it. Yeah, no pinfall there as uh, Sarah Logan gets out of it. And right now, Star Angel gets caught in trouble, and, oh, teardrop suplex. That's where they grab him by the thigh underneath and uh, get a little more leverage. Going for the pin. Does she have it here? No, breaks out is going to be uh, Star Angel. Oh, trying to go for a roll up, but Star Angel grabs the ropes. Good veteran instinct. And right now, Sarah Logan taking the Star Angel here. Tell you how much right now. Oh. Kind of like a rebound back suplex. Definitely was. And oh, a knee to the back. Sarah Logan. Oh, I'll tell you what. Sarah Logan, or whatever she calls herself now, has Star Angel in trouble, a.k.a. Angie Foreman. And right now, Star Angel was uh, struggling with that, and now she's feeling the point of that uh, submission hold. I'll tell you how much right now. Oh, man, Ram's arm right into the thing. Ram's arm right in the mat there. Oh, what a drop kick. Man, that was blistering. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the heck was that all about? Oh, never mind. Uh oh. Let's call. Uh oh. A couple of good counters. And a close down over the top sends uh, Star Angel over. 
And Asia's watching carefully, so Nova has not come over there to try to attack uh, Star Angel. Better be careful, Asia. Do not touch Sarah Logan or else you're going to get your partner disqualified. That is a true fact. As right now, we're watching Sarah Logan take, take uh, Star Angel to win here in this matchup so far. Oh no, here we go, folks. Oh, Starship Pain. Oh man, could this be it? And so, oh man. Star Angel's got a little bit to work on this uh, as uh, Sarah Logan steals one. Holy cow. Oh man. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. Oh, come on. What the snot is this? Come on. You won the match. She isn't happy, uh, Fatal. She thought she should have won in a shorter time. I guess she's not happy that a uh, person that was out for several months took her to a limit much more than she should have. Unbelievable. Oh man, the disrespect and the, you know I agree with I agree with Eric Bischoff about something today. Uh, he said about the disrespect in this wrestling world and uh, as I I read I read the wrestling groups. So I'll tell you that much right now and uh, coming up next should be a good one. Royce Isaacs against Chris Dickinson and you know what the funny thing about this is that. Both these guys train to each other, so this is going to be a very tough matchup. The Dirty Daddy against the, uh, man, going against the, uh, what is it, uh, Royce Isaacs. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, right now, I know even though this is the first show, like I said, fans, give us time. If you like what's going on here, please subscribe. Follow us here on uh, Twitch under, uh, underneath uh, WC Wrestling 712. Please. That would be awesome. You know? I wouldn't mind it at all. Here we go, folks. Let's get this going. We're ready to get this uh, uh, whole affair going here, folks. No doubt about it. And there is Royce Isaacs right there. One half of the infamous tag team known as the Wild Cards with uh, Tom Latimer. Should be a good one, folks. As he's going to be going against one half of Violence Unlimited, Chris Dickinson. You know, Fatal, you know who I recently saw in the, uh, at, at, at backstage just a while ago? Who would that be, uh, Taz? I saw the Universal Heartthrob here, Austin Idol. 
I'll tell you that much right now. I wonder what business he's got going on here in the uh, winner's circle, if he's got any. Will be interesting, I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, and there is Chris Dickinson right there, the Dirty Daddy. He's really upped his value since uh, winning that tag team title with Homicide in the Ring of Honor. Oh yeah, Chris Dickinson's hot property right now. No doubt about it. The guy is known about Smash Mouth Wrestling. No doubt about it. Yeah, you missed it, fans, on this uh, premiere broadcast so far. We had a uh, great tag team match with uh, Jericho Windham and uh, Bo, Bo Rotunda going against the Contra unit, which consists now of uh, Jacob Fatu and El Hijo del Serpentor. That's going to be a nasty unit to face off against. And then, of course, you've seen you saw Sarah Logan score an upset victory over Star Angel. Yeah, I was, I was a little surprised about that. And now, right now, Royce Isaacs giving it to Chris Dickinson. And Royce Isaacs, did you know that he's a former ECW World Champion? He must see wrestling had that championship in uh, play. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. No doubt about it. And Dickinson now going to work here on Royce Isaacs. Wow. Dickinson uh, throwing Isaacs in the ropes. We'll see who gets who gets the better to me. I guess this can, you can tell this can be on our dojo training sessions. Oh man, beautiful uh, Falcon Arrow right there. Oh. -ho. Bob Holly would be proud. And we got Chris uh, Dickinson giving Isaacs some kitchen sinks. Oh man, and a beautiful Russian leg sweep. But well, Isaacs coming back here. Royce Isaacs now set it up and oh, hangs him stomach first on the ropes. And now Isaacs going to work on Dickinson's back as he puts that knee into it. Oh man, ouch. That does not look like fun at all. Oh, no doubt about it. But Dickinson's gonna show Isis it's not fun to be power bombed. Oh, power bomb and elbow combo. Holy cow. Going for the pin. Uh, Dickinson trying to get him for a suplex, but Isaacs becomes dead weight and hammers him right in the back. And now Dickinson uh, flips him over a takeover, kind of like suplex. Do we have another count of victory? What the hell? I don't know, man. They, you know what? Maybe they have to start taking the disqualification and count out thing uh, off the matches. You know what? That would make the matches a hell of a lot more fun. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I remember in ECW days, I mean, that's what ECW rules were. No disqualification, no count out. Let's not forget that. 
Oh yeah, I remember those. Oh, frog splash! Isaac, I'll tell you what, Isaac's is a hell of a wrestler, no doubt about it. He has learned throughout the years. He has really sharpened his game. I wonder if we're going to see his other tag team partner here in the area, maybe. Jarrell Nelson, they're known as the West Coast Wrecking Crew. Oh, he's going to go for hush money, and Dickinson stops with a few punches. The only move he was able to do on that, uh, basically, was he had an eye rake, and I think a punch was a little more honorable than the eye rake. I'm pretty sure you don't want to do that to, uh, to a guy that you train with. And, uh, it's probably sad. They probably think it's sad to see either one of them lose. Oh, you and King Taz. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh. Oh, pile driver. Ouch. The game changer. Everybody says what's more crippled, pile, pile driver or pile bomb? I gotta give it to the pile driver because that jars the hell out of your neck. I mean, I remember Chris Beck got pile drive three times by Evan. Yeah, I remember that. That was nasty. And oh, taking to a beautiful run up in, on stand up in Zuguri. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh my gosh, man. And right now Dickinson stomping away on Isaacs. In that elbow area. No. Isaac's still showing it. And I'm pretty sure Dickinson's given all the respect in the world for that. No doubt about it. with a nice uh, toe wheel backbreaker. Oh no, what is he going to do now? And, oh, reverse DDT. Going for the pin, this could be it. No. Wow. Isaac thought he had it there, ladies and gentlemen. He thought he had the money in the bank on that one. And no, uh, this might be it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, this time Dickinson escapes and, uh, oh man. Oh man, almost. Hush money does not pull him away. And I'll tell you what. Yeah, no doubt about it. And well, Isaacs has got control in this one, I'll tell you that much. But Dickinson keeps, just like Isaacs uh, was uh, kick, kept kicking everything out of uh, what uh, Dickinson was doing, uh, Dickinson's doing the same, and uh, I'll tell you what, this is a good back and forth match between these two. You know you're watching a good match when both guys want to give it their all. No doubt about it. I mean, this really shot the hell out of me when Kenny, Tonic, and Clayton all want to start up a federation. I'm sitting there, it's like, holy cow. I know, it's like, how did you feel when they walked up to you and asked if you could, if, ask if they can work, you can work for them as a, as a commentator? You know, I was tickled pink. I'll tell you that much right now, and, oh, Isaacs with a nice elbow on the next. Sorry, uh, cut the conversation short there. Oh, no problem. Oh, and there's a reverse DDT. Good God. What is it going to take to take down Dickinson? No. And I just can't believe it. He is getting a little frustrated. Yeah, I'll tell you what. 
Isaacs has thrown everything, including the, the two-car garage at him. And right now, he's wondering what the hell else does he have to do to uh, put Dickinson's shoulders down for that three. Oh, oh one percenter. Are you kidding me? Dickinson still gets out. Wow. This is unbelievable. I'll tell you that much right now. And where's Isaacs going with this? And oh, man. Going for a pin. Noha. You know, fans of old school wrestling does appreciate this. I'll tell you that much right now. They appreciate damn good wrestling match, and this is one of them right now, I gotta admit. Oh, man. Isaac just took him down a backbreaker. Going for a pin again. No! Oh man, drop kick right to the face. And now stretching him out. He keeps torching that back. Uh, how much more damage than uh, Dickinson could take? I mean, I'll tell you how much right now. And uh, Isaacs is working a good strategy. No doubt about it. Because every move that Isaacs has got, it affects the back. Hush money, reverse DDT, that uh, surfboard. I mean, unbelievable. You better believe it, Fatal. You are right about that. You are, miss, you are a student of the game. I try to be. Uh-oh. Isaacs going for it again. One of the voices hoping that's it. Oh, wait a minute. He should have went for the pen. What is wrong with this kid? I'm sorry. I mean, no disrespect to the guy. Or maybe it's just the AI. I heard about the AI on this. Oh, another one percenter right there, or whatever you want to call it. Dickinson still keeps kicking out. This kid is tough. Yeah. Oh, sit out, Gore Buster. Oh, he's going, what is he going for? What does he, what does he have in his mind as he's going that top rope? Oh my gosh, man. Oh boy. Well, I guess he's not going, he's not going for anything while the opponent's down. Oh, that drop kick hit the spot. Holy cow. Uh oh, going for it again. Oh, no reverse DDT. Oh, jeez. And the Impaler. Not Max the Impaler either in ROH. <laughs> Could you imagine this, this, you know what, this match would have been finished a long time ago if there was the uh, knockout rule. I heard the committee talking about that. I'll tell you that much right now. But I'm glad it isn't because we wouldn't be seeing classic stuff like this. Ron well, Royce Isaacs gets the win. He, you know what, you gotta give him credit. He was dominant tonight. Wow. I bet the people at home did not realize what they were going to see at 7 o'clock tonight here on, uh, on the channel when it said wrestling. That's all it said in TV guides. I, I even have a copy right here of it. And I'm glad he said wrestling. They didn't say 
It was, they didn't say it was a new federation. They didn't even say our name. Element of surprise, my friend. Element of surprise. That's what keeps, that's what keeps the world going. And Royce Isaacs is your winner right there, the, the blue chipper. And definitely is. Stay tuned, folks. Coming up next. Don't tell me that's why I think I heard. Oh, Lance Storm coming out to get, give, I guess, to talk with the fans. Wow. I like me a little Lance. Lance Storm, our general manager, coming out to the ring. And uh, you heard Tonic saying about that. Let's get the ring right now and see what Lance has got to say. Mr. Storm, I should say. Yeah, we better dress him correctly. He is a general manager after all. <laughs> if I could be serious for a moment, how you doing fans? Welcome to the world of the Winter Circle Wrestling. This is, the, this is the alternative if you get tired of seeing the other stuff around. And the Federation's been watching here, around here as of late, uh, you know. I seen what the heck did I see? Oversaturated entertainment. I seen NWO 2.0s. I seen name people name after fishes cry like two year old two year old babies. I seen uh, people throwing a fit because they didn't show up for a world title match and they they think they shouldn't be punished at all. You know what? I can understand to a point for that person, but here's the thing about it: when you're when you're signed to a commitment, just do it, man. I mean, you know. But let me tell you something right now: the Winter Circle Wrestling is an alternative. It's not going to have Tinker Bell. It's not going to have a resistor. It's not going to have mega stars that's been pushed down our throats for many years. That's basically. Uh, trying to hog up the spotlight for another paycheck. I'll tell you that much right now. What we do, we bring the most hardworking wrestling athletes from around the world over here. And you saw a few examples. I mean, that matchup that happened right before I came out, Royce Isaacs and Chris Dickinson, I'll tell you what, and my hat goes out to both men. No doubt about it. And the women are just as entertaining. I mean, we just signed Asia Cole to co exclusive contract a couple days ago after uh, she, uh, I guess it gave her a formal workplace for walking papers because she uh, was getting really, uh, she told us she was really getting disdained and uh, she knew to need a new environment. So uh, let's put it that way. You know what, I, you know what, I feel for Chris Bat because I know I'm in the same position as he is. Uh, I'm, I'm the first manager of Upstart Federation. He's, the, uh, he's trying to clean up a federation. I wish him all the luck in the world. Take care, guys. Enjoy the rest of the evening. All right, Lance Storm, and we got two more matches. I'll tell you that much. Oh, look at this. Coming up next, Sky Blue against, whoa, the MSW Women's Champion, Sarah Perry. Are you kidding me? And she didn't even come in her tonight. What the hell? And look at who she's brought with her, her new advisor, Ali Govea. Yeah, Ali Govea, I remember she was a, she was a hellraiser, a troublemaker for the days, but 
You know what? She was a hot hellraiser, a, a hot troublemaker, and she's still keeping those looks going. I'll tell you that much right now. Well, the story I heard about this relationship blossoming was that uh, Govea calls Sarah Perry Govea 2.0 because she says she's good at flaunting it and she's got good skill to back it up. So that's how that partnership came about. Sky Blue, well... She's a former uh, must-see wrestling women's tag team champion with Genocide. They're known in that tag team as Genocide. This should be a good matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. I'm looking forward to this one. Wait a minute, I, I know Ali Govea wasn't even on the broadcast last night for big time. Was she over here all this time? I think so, Taz. I think so. You know she manages the MSW Women's Champion and the Tag Team Champions right now. No, def definitely not a, not a doubt about it. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, the story about Govea was she was a... Uh, multi-millionaire of a uh, fashion design line and then all of a sudden she went bankrupt and now she's trying to get herself back into that back into the game and uh i guess it looks like she's starting off good i guess from what i heard uh from what i heard from reports sarah perry's paying her a six-figure salary to upkeep their reputation so let's get the ring right now as we see sky blue going against sarah perry but let's put it this way. This is an open field advantage. This is anybody's game that wants it. I'll tell you that much right now. And there is Sky Blue. Another up-and-coming women's wrestler on this independent circuit. I'll tell you what right now. I mean, you got these women on the independent circuit that are really making a name of themselves. You got her. You got Roxy. You got Genocide. You got Alex Gracia. Lady Frost, Lindsay Snow, Miranda Alizé. The, the list just freaking goes on. Oh, there's, there's a hell of a lot more names, Dad. Why don't you try Trisha Dora? Willow Nightingale. Uh, you got a uh, hell of a lot of people on that list. Nicole Savoy. I think she's going to be over here. She's going to make an appearance here pretty soon. I just heard news about... Oh, that's Sarah Perry. There she is, folks. Oh, my. She has it all, and I remember I heard in the MSW history that she is the, she is the person that uh, has the most selling piece of merchandise there is on a newsstand, her poster. Yeah, I heard it was an amazing poster. Seriously, Taz, you didn't buy any? Nah, I saw it and I was like, okay, I can, I can see the reason why. No doubt about it. There she is, folks. She didn't bring a wrestling gear. I think the Mary Gabriel is telling me that she's got new wrestling gear being made right now at this moment. So uh, we'll see it down the road. And of course, you cannot forget. Here's the thing I want. Here's the thing you cannot forget. You cannot forget that, uh, basically, with these two, 
There's, you know who, uh, who comes behind on them? Mona and Raquel. So, you know what? You get one, you get the rest. And Sarah Perry with a beautiful takeover run on the young sky. Oh, man, runs over there, nails her a leg drop. Sarah Perry is all business, no doubt about it. Oh, man. That was a nice take. That was a nice, like, takeover suplex, basically. I don't know if you can call that T one. It feels like a T. Oh! Nasty. Looks like a chin lock and it turns it into a neck breaker, and oh boy. She is not playing. Oh, bad move. Holy cow. Going for the pin. Oh man, Sarah Perry grabs a grabs a quick win. She no wonder she didn't put no gear on. Wow. Sarah Perry wipes out Sky Blue here tonight. Holy cow. What do you think of that, Taz? She is all that, you better believe it. And there's Sarah talking to the fans and Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's that coming to ring? It's Roxy! Roxy is here! Holy cow, we forgot that she was she was around. She uh, she wrestled with Lindsay Snow on the uh, broadcast and now Govea beating up on her. Now Govea and uh Perry are just having her licks in on Roxy. Oh my god. We got a little bit of a war going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I wouldn't mind seeing that as a, oh man, oh that's rude. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Well folks, coming up next, main event time, the contingent taking on uh, Davey Boy Smith Jr. and Ross and Marcel Von Erich. This is going to be a good one. Price Sanders, Pete Dunne, and Nick Aldis. They call themselves the Contingent. That's what they call themselves. And they're going to be going against Davey Boy Smith Jr., who's looking to rebound from the loss to the FTW World Champion Ricky Starks. And, of course, the two newcomers, Ross and Marshall Von Erich. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, indeed it is. This should be a good one, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. I heard, uh, I heard that, uh, we, I, I guess one of our correspondents in the back asked Nick Aldis, he, did he ever, uh, went over to Davey Boy Smith Jr. and talked about having him join the contingent. I guess Aldis says he wasn't British enough. What an insult. Well, you know, technically he was born, I can't, he was born in Canada. But his father was a legendary British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. No doubt about it. And of course, look uh, who else? Look who look, look, look who else he looked up to? Dynamite Kid Tom Billington. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, what these guys did in the ring was amazing. You don't you don't consider what's on the outside of the ring. It's like it's a shame what happened there. But you uh, on the inside of the ring, uh, you uh, a murder skill.
And there they are, folks. The contingent. Yeah, this is a nasty three-man trio. I know I was watching them the other night when uh, Sanders and Dawn beat uh, TJP and Kalisto. You know, I'm looking forward to see what the next episodes are going to be, uh, Patel. You know that. You know what's how so am I. This has been pretty thrilling tonight. It's a, it's, a, it's a breath of fresh air. I'll tell you that much right now. Very much a breath of fresh air. Even though I know they're just starting off here. But you know what? Give them time. They're going to... They're, the, uh, the, listen, you know what? I got a feeling... This may turn into a major force if played right. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, right now, these are three bad boys from Britain. The terror, the national treasure, and the bruiser weight. And, but they got three opponents they cannot sneeze at. And there's one of them right now, Davey Boy Smith Jr. As you see Davy Boy already in the ring. They're going to be in the ring. As uh, Cameron gets a look at the fans. And here comes Ross and Marshall Von Erich. Sons of legendary Kevin Von Erich. And of course, they, well, you know what that makes them? The nephews of the late great Kerry, David, Mike, Chris, and grandsons of Fritz. No doubt about it. That is one lengthy family and I think they also got a cousin by the name of Lacey you are right miss Lacey Von Eric. I'll tell you that much right now I remember from my days in TNA I'll tell you that much right now we'll see how this one goes this one may take a while because it is six men and regular tag team rules apply I'll tell you that much right now and Sanders throwing Davy Boy in the ropes. And oh, what a backdrop by the terror. I'll tell you what the scary thing about it with uh, Sanders is that he was a fan of the late Chris Benoit and he's taking like every wrestling technique and every wrestling philosophy out of his book. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Sanders is a rough, tough individual. Never mind that loss he had to Malcolm Frost this past weekend in another federation. You know? I think he left that area too. He's uh, exclu he's a, he is WCW exclusive. I'll tell you that much right now, I heard. I think I heard that, yeah. So is Davy Boy. Davy Boy was there for a while, and uh, he just gave up on the whole thing. He's like, screw it, I'm done. And all this going out with Davy Boy. Now, this would be a hell of a matchup with these two one-on-one. -on -one. No doubt about it. I don't mind seeing the Bulldog taking on the National Treasure. That would be a close admission. I'll tell you what right now. All this and Davy Boy, yeah. All this, I'll tell you what, he had some great teachers too, and in this time during the main event mafia. And we're now for some of the best. Namely Sting, Kurt Angle, and Samoa Joe. And also Harley Race. I mean incredible. Oh man, are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. I guess Davey Boy might, uh, might have, uh, yeah, he, uh, Davey Boy took a hard hit on the outside and all this cheats his way to victory. Oh my gosh. But it was a kill on win, Taz. Uh, you know, when you pin or submit a guy, I got to admit, there's not much pride in a count or disqualification victory. You know what? Thank you all for joining us here tonight for Taz. I am Fatal, and I hope we see you again. Have a good night, everybody.